hello guys welcome to the channel in this quick video i would like to show you how to disable or enable secure boot in bios or uefi depending what computer you're using this will be very simple but it's very helpful if you're trying to install any operating system that doesn't have a valid secure boot certificate so the system that have secure boot and this is most of the system nowadays they don't allow you to install such operating system so let's get started but before we start if you first time to the channel take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos this will help me a lot to grow my channel and bring you more helpful and interesting videos also if you find this video helpful please support with a like i appreciate it very much and if you like this content and would like to support my channel please check out the links in the description i appreciate it very much and let's get started power on the computer and when it starts launching Press a dedicated key to enter BIOS or UEFI settings. Usually it is an F2 key, but it could be different depending on your laptop manufacturer. So I'm going to put a list of all possible keys on the screen. So just choose the one that is designed for your computer. Then enter the password for your BIOS if it's necessary. Then in the BIOS, go to the boot section and where it says secure boot. As you can see, it is enabled. Make sure to disable it. Just press enter and Use the arrow keys to disable and then press enter again. Now, as you can see, the secure boot is disabled. And press F10 to exit and save the settings. And then just press enter. Now it should start loading from the USB drive. On the newer computer, like this Lenovo Legio 5 laptop that has UEFI system instead of regular old school bias just go ahead and start the computer and then press f2 or other dedicated key that is designed for your computer i just press it multiple times so that i can enter this ufe system here and ufe interface can be different depending on the manufacturer of your computer pc or laptop because each system has unique hardware configurations chipsets processors storage devices and the UEFI BIOS must be optimized for these components. OEMs design BIOS interfaces to align with their branding, such as custom logos, themes, and features. As we can see on this Lenovo Legion 5 laptop UEFI BIOS, designed for ease of use, these BIOSes often have simplified interfaces, fewer options, and clear graphics to avoid confusing less technical users. Also, high-performance boards include detailed tuning options for overclocking, fan control, and advanced diagnostic, which we'll see on our next example on the Asus motherboard. On this Lenovo Legion 5 one, you need to go to more settings. Then once you get to this menu here, you gotta go to security and then scroll down. Where you see secure boot enabled, you just need to disable it and then press F10 to save the settings. That is one thing you need to do. But one more thing on these Lenovo Legion 5 laptops, you have an option of booting from the USB drive. As you can see, if you go to the boot section, there is a USB boot option and you need to make sure it is enabled. If it's disabled, you won't be able to boot from any USB drive. So that is very important. Make sure to enable the USB boot and then disable secure boot if you want to boot from the USB drive with the operating system that doesn't have a valid secure boot certificate. Now let me show you how the UEFI BIOS looks on ASUS motherboards. So go ahead and start your computer. Again press F2 to load into UEFI. And once we get to the UEFI BIOS utility for the ASUS motherboard, this one is from the X99, so this is a top high-end motherboard. It could look different on other ones. Like I said, UEFI biases are all different, but you need to look for the similar options. On this one, go to the advanced mode. Then in the advanced mode, go to the boot section. This particular UEFI is very sophisticated. There are millions of different settings you can tweak. Scroll down to secure boot then click on secure boot it's going to open up another menu and in this asus motherboard the secure boot option is a little bit different as you can see secure boot state is enabled and it seems like actually you cannot disable it rather you need to choose the os type instead of windows uefi mode 
choose other OS and this will let you install other OS besides Windows such as Linux OS or other types of OS. As you can see when we choose Windows UEFI mode at the bottom there is a note saying that the Windows UEFI mode execute the Microsoft Secure Boot check only select this option when booting on Windows UEFI mode or other Microsoft Secure Boot compliant operating systems. The other OS option, you should select this option to get optimized functions when booting on Windows non UEFI mode and Microsoft Secure Boot non compliant operating system. This relates to most Linux operating systems because Microsoft Secure Boot can only function properly on Windows UEFI mode. Alternatively, to disable Secure Boot, you can go to the key management. And here you can clear Secure Boot keys. If you clear Secure Boot keys, the Secure Boot will not validate the bootloaders or operating systems. This effectively disables Secure Boot, allowing the system to boot any software. Though be careful if you have another operating system on this computer, and if that operating system or bootloader relies on Secure Boot, and the required keys are missing, the system may fail to boot. To re-enable Secure Boot, you'll need to restore secure keys, either from the manufacturer defaults or a backup you provide. As you can see, there is an option to load default PK, which are the platform keys. If you remove Secure Boot keys, you can restore them later. After that, you can go to the Easy Mode and press Save and Exit. Or alternatively, you can press F10 on the keyboard and click OK. It will reboot the system. And if we go to this UEFI settings again and check out the secure boot option, you can see that the OS type is set to other OS. This will make sure that we can install other types of OS besides Windows, such as different Linux distros. Besides that, on some motherboards in UEFI settings, you can enable or disable CSM or the compatibility support module. For that, go back to the boot menu and choose CSM. And you can choose to enable launch CSM or disable. If it is enabled, you can launch older operating systems on the modern hardware. If it is disabled, you won't be able to do that. So in case you have the secure boot already disabled, but it still doesn't work, try to enable the CSM or the compatibility support module after that, press F10 to save and exit and reboot the system. All these operations should allow you to boot from the USB drive using various operating systems such as different Linux distros. Well, there you have it. Now you know how to disable or enable secure boot in any system such as BIOS or UEFI, it doesn't matter. And this will let you install any operating system on your computer. So I hope you find this video helpful. If you like it, please support it with a like. If you're new to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. Also, if you have comments or questions, drop them down in the comment section below. I try to read every comment and help you if I can. But that's it for today. Hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.